Greetings, young and old storyboard artists alike. I'm here to give you a tip. My name's Tim Hodge. I've worked in storyboards for, uh, for storyboarding for many, many years, both features and television. I have a training uh, series on uh, creatureartteacher.com, but this is a tip um, um, using layer comps. This is something that uh, it's come up a couple days when I've been talking to younger storyboard artists, so I thought I'd put this out here to give some people a boost. Now, layer comps, it's not a drawing technique, it's not about staging, it's not about composition, anything like that. This is purely technical. This is um, basically file organization. Because if you've ever worked in Photoshop doing storyboards um, and you're using save as, uh, say you do a panel and you've got all your layers and you save as, and maybe you, comp you know flatten it and save it as a JPEG and then you have to unflatten it and do another panel and then flatten it and save as. And after a while, you it gets really complicated and you have a lot of files, especially if you don't compress them or don't flatten them, and you have a lot of files building and building in layers and you're taking up a lot of room on your hard drive. This is a way to put all of your panels into one uh, document. And you can export them later as, as individual JPEGs, but this keeps everything organized and um, just works superbly well. Uh, all the major studios who use Photoshop do this. In fact, I, that's where I learned about it. I was not using layer comps, and then I started working at, um, with uh, DreamWorks Television, and um, and they were, uh, were going through a training with their some of their internal software and I said oh yeah when you finish you take your layer comps and input them in here like whoa 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 what's a layer comp and then I had to go back you know the oldest person on the team and learn something but anyway layer comps um, like I said it's a way to organize all your panels into one document now I've started here with a simple background and you can see I have some layers down here on uh, lower screen left um, but if you go under window the all you have all these windows to pull up go down to layer comps it's about halfway down and this other window pops up right here and that'll come in very handy in just a moment uh, so what we want to do is we want to uh, draw a panel and I have some already drawn here to make this shorter you've got a little bunny rabbit bunny foo foo hopping through the forest so we've got our panel here and we're gonna save this as a layer comp uh, so what we do is we hit this little uh, square right here is for new layer comp. You see this little tab looks like a little sticky tab. You can also, where is that up here? Oh, um, this little menu box up here, new layer comp. So there's always more than one way to do things. I like to do that it's a little faster. This other window comes up, file name, layer comp one. You can change that or leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Make sure th all three of these little squares are checked. Uh, the visibility, position, appearance. The first time you pull it up, I believe only visibility is checked, but make sure you uh, check all three, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. <clears throat> and then you hit OK. Now you notice up here in this corner, where our layer comp window is, layer comp one has appeared. Um, and this is our layer comp. Basically, the um, uh, Photoshop remembers all the layers that are turned on, uh, and, you know, with a little eye icon over here they're they're visible it remembers all the layers that are visible in in this layer comp so now we hit this little refresh button the two little arrows that are like a recycling symbol click that now you have a layer comp okay magic in just a moment now we want to do our next panel where a little bunny foo foo I have this one it is crouching down make sure he's lined up and he's getting his little squash before the stretch, little anticipation before the jump. So this is our next panel. So we need another layer comp. So new layer comp, layer comp two, all the boxes are checked, hit OK, and refresh it. So now, the refreshing is very important because that's what helps, that's what tells Photoshop to remember this layer comp. Now we have one and two. Now if I use these little arrows back and forth, notice I've got uh, my two panels already here right now I might want to save my document here so I'm gonna hit save I've already put this in my, in my on my hard drive <clears throat> all right so it's 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 you know always save because I don't think Photoshop has auto save if it doesn't it should okay so we've got on layer comp 2 let's do another one layer comp number 3 okay let's turn on our third drawing where bunny foo foo is in the air all right 
hit refresh. So now we've got three layer comps. Well, there we go. Well, one, two, three. Let's do layer comp number four with this layer where bunny is in the air still. Turn off that layer, refresh, layer comp number five, or bunny foo foo. Ah, where is that wrong layer? There. Is landing right about there. Turn off that one. There. Now we've got five layer comps with the rabbit jumps like that. Okay? Now this is where it gets really cool. This is an added feature. Let's do another layer comp because um, the little bunny's going to sit up. He's landed. We're going to put our first drawing. Now see, I've moved it over here. All right? Up. Let me back up just a little bit. Undo, undo, undo. Okay, let me layer comp number six. This is where these little boxes come into play. All right? Visibility which ones, which layers are visible. Position, that's what uh, uh, this is coming into. Uh, this is where it comes into play because it remembers the position of the layer. So we're gonna move that layer over and that way you don't have to redraw the rabbit in a new position. You can reuse a drawing. Also appearance, uh, that is you can like uh, change the, uh, the, the opacity if you want a character to get, you know, suddenly lighter, You're storyboarding a ghost that's disappearing or whatever, you can have them fade out. But make sure those three boxes are ticked, and this is why. Layered comp six. We're using our first uh, panel, uh, first drawing again. Scoot little bunny foo foo over here. Right about right there. Hide that one. Hit refresh. Now, start at the beginning. He jumps. Boom, and there he is. Layer comp seven. We're going to use this one where he's crouching down again. Ah, next I'll use a fill tool. There we go. Turn off the first one. Refresh. Layer comp eight. Again, we're going to reuse drawings and make them hop off screen. Hide that one. Refresh. Layer comp nine. Put this. He's jumping. He's making it all the way off screen. Hide that one. Refresh. And layer comp ten where he's all the way off screen, well, virtually all the way off screen. Hit refresh. Now we've got 10 layer comps with this little rabbit hopping along. Now I've only done five drawings and reuse them using the position save. Now I've got all of my panels in this, little, in this shot, um, which will be 10 panels, uh, six layers, which is the background and five uh, characters. Uh, <clears throat> but how do I use these? How do I send this to editorial so that somebody can make it into an animatic? This is where magic happens again. Go under File right here. And you see it's Export. And now you can export each one of these as something. Now I'm going to export uh, layer comps to files, right? And this, uh, another window comes up. So I choose a place where I want it to go. Freelance, let's see, I'm going to put it in my storyboarding lessons, a new folder, and bunny foo foo test. Okay, and that folder, so I know where they are. I'm going to, you can put a prefix in front of these just so you can name your files. Um, bunny foo foo BFF. Um, there's a box you can uh, tick here called Selected Layer Comps Only. If you don't want to export all of them, if you've just redone one or two and you need to resave them, you can highlight certain layer comps and just export one or two or whatever. Um, but of course, we're going to be exporting them all, so that remains unchecked. I can save it as a bitmap, JPEG, PDF, whatever. JPEG seems to be universal. We're going to do that and hit Run. There, it exported them and it was successful. Now, if we go to my files here, uh, where is it, bunny foo foo test. Here is the folder. Uh, so you can see this better. No, nope, that's not what I want. There, if 
I would go in this folder and then delete that. I have all ten, I, yeah, all ten layer comps, and I can cl click through these. It'll work better this way. There we go. I can click through these. They're all separate JPEGs. And I can send those to editorial. Editorial can make uh, a beautiful animatic out of it. Now, just for practicality, um, you probably don't want to do an entire uh, episode in one uh, one file. You want to break it up a little bit. So if you have a, uh, a particular scene that's, say, two pages long, just put that scene in one file. Save it as scene one. That way your you know, individual files get, don't get huge. And also it's easier to go back and make changes. Oh, I need to do revisions in scene three and go back and find that um, that particular file. Um, make sure you stay organized down here with your layers. Uh, maybe between each cut, start a new um, a new group so it's easier to go back and find your, your um, layers to, to do revisions. Uh, I think that's all I've got to uh, explain on this. I think if you play around with this, you'll be able to um, to find some new uh, new things about it, how it works best for you. So good luck, have fun with it, and I hope this helps you in your storyboarding. All right, tune in next time. See you around.